Hello everyone and welcome to weather. So first up in the headlines, April to June 2024 rainfall totals are likely to be mostly near normal over most of Trinidad and Tobago. So there are a few small wetter than usual pockets which are likely to occur over central and southern Trinidad. Meanwhile, May has a higher chance for above normal rainfall. So looking to our satellite image, a developing low pressure area and associated frontal system to the northeast of the Les Antilles will continue to produce perturbations like troughs across the Leeward Islands. Now this is expected to bring some partly cloudy to cloudy periods with light or moderate showers in varying areas and the chance of an isolated heavy shower or even thunderstorm over the Leeward Islands during this outlook period. Now although Trinidad and Tobago and the Windward Islands will be be in a generally ridging pattern during Tuesday 16th April into Thursday 18th low level convergence and patches of moisture together with interactions with local topographies and daytime land heating are likely to interrupt the sunshine at times to produce a few light to moderate showers over varying areas and there is also a chance for an isolated heavy shower to develop favoring those hilly areas now meanwhile checking the Saharan air layer seen here in light orange there is a mild to moderate concentration of Saharan dust in the atmosphere presently and from Wednesday 17th April the concentration of dust haze in the atmosphere is expected to increase from, from moderate to high at times for the outlook period so please watch out for that change in air quality by then. Also, it should still be noted that we are still in the dry season, so the probability for bush and brush fires, together with the possibility for landfill and forest fires, remain elevated. And these are likely to continue to contribute to the reduction in the air quality at times. Now back in current conditions after Piaco's high of 32.1 degrees Celsius, right now it's at 27. And Crown Point saw a high at 31.2 degrees Celsius, and right now it's at 30 degrees Celsius. So tonight's forecast in Tobago, you can watch for a fair few brief showers tonight with a minimum temperature at 25 degrees Celsius for Crown Point. And for Piaco, you can expect another low at 24 degrees Celsius tonight. And though conditions will be fair to party cloudy, Trinidad may also see those few brief showers around on Monday night. Then into tomorrow in Tobago, you can look out for a couple of these showers again to continue into your Tuesday with temperatures expected at 32 degrees Celsius at Crown Point. Meanwhile, Piaco can expect 33 degrees Celsius, however, feeling like 37 when you factor in that humidity. And though for those of you here in Trinidad, Tuesday will be generally sunny and breezy, but that may be interrupted by a couple scattered to light to moderate showers favoring the afternoon or evening. Also, gusts are possible near these showers so take care when heading out so to the outlook now for wednesday we'll see those partly cloudy and breezy conditions with a few light to moderate showers again favoring the morning and early afternoon period and these conditions are looking like they are continuing as well into your thursday so keep dry keep your umbrellas if you're heading out close to you and all marine interests are advised to exercise caution as seas may become choppy due to moderate low level winds. So in the marine forecast, seas are moderate with waves from 2 to 2.5 meters offshore and near 1 meter in sheltered areas. And your high tides for Port of Spain will be at only 10.04 a.m. while low tides are at 4 a.m. and 5.08 p.m. Meanwhile, over at Scarborough, high tides will be at 10.23 a.m. only with your low tides at 4.41 a.m. and 5.44 p.m. So for your recap now, while it's been mostly hot and sunny, we are seeing some of those relief showers around. So keep dry and watch for the gusts near these said showers. Take care.